Hey guys, well I kind of got a little bit of a head start here, sorry about that, but today I decided I'm going to clean the interior, I ripped out some of the floor mats, I ripped off the old seat cover, I gotta say, this seat's in pretty shitty shape, but I gotta say, this thing back in the day was one cool looking seat, I know it's got to be factory, but with those stripes in the middle, it was a pretty cool looking seat, uh, I still got to vacuum it and stuff, but I see a couple of my seatbelt things are broken, it's got all this like dusty crap on it vacuum the floor and vacuum the seat and then wipe everything down then after that i'm gonna take the cluster apart all the lights do work but i want to put the led ones in it and show you guys how to do that i also got to put a bulb in from in the dome light for the bottom as you can see the top one works with the bottom one that's about the only light that was burnt out in this thing so far uh behind the seat someone put an ice scraper and some aftermarket speakers in it which is kind of neat but they're from they're old they are old they're wooden and nailed together and so that's kind of cool but other than that i'm gonna vacuum the floor clean up the seat and replace that bulb for now okay guys kind of jumping ahead here i decided to pull the seat out so i could put the new one in right away i actually found this on the floor it's one of those old picture things you shine the light through it and you can see what the picture, what kind of picture is on it. You can't see it very well with the can't with the phone, but there is something on there. So I'm going to take it home and see if I can figure it out. But I'm going to get all these window scrapers out of here. I don't know what kind of guy needs like four window scrapers, but I'm going to get my bolts for the seat and these window scrapers and the tire iron out. And I'm going to get the vacuum and suck some of this crummy crap up. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get done. to show what a little vacuuming can do all right a part carpet isn't perfect but this truck doesn't need to be perfect it's just how i want it to be not wrinkled up it's not ripped it's not too bad it's perfect for me so i'm gonna get this new seat in there get the seat belt situated and i think it'll be good to go i also want to take and get that cb a wire out and i'm mad i didn't do it when i had the truck up in the air but in the last video but it's all right i'll get that cb wire cut out of there so it doesn't have to be run through there anymore and then i'll get this seat in there she's looking pretty good so far all right i got the seat in put the floor mat back in there i thought that was kind of a decent floor mat looks nice with the new seat in there now that i got the seat done we'll get this dash apart get everything cleaned up so you can get those bulbs replaced with the new led bulbs then i'll replace this dash bezel with the wood grain dash bezel bezel to match the other one so let's get taking this dash apart all right so now we're going to get this dash bezel out and put that one in to match the wood grain so we'll get this guy out i'll show you how to get it out i'll show you how to take the radio knobs off i'll show you how to take the headlight switch out and we'll get them two switched first thing you need to do is get this headlight switch out now, this is going to be very hard to explain, but on the back side of this headlights, which is a really long rod, you can see it's a really long rod, right? Well, you got to take and pull this out, and then there's a button on the actual switch. You got to push and pull this out, and then you can push the knob back in just enough to shut the lights off, but not enough to push the knob back in the switch where it holds it, because like right now, as you can see, I can't get it out. But I'm going to attempt to do this one-handed here. So I kind of just got it done and jumped right in. I was having some issues finding a dash that would work. The wood grain dash didn't work because the washer switch and the headlight switch were in the wrong position. So I found this one out of our parts truck. 
I still gotta do some more cleaning on it, but it fits, it, it works. There's no cracks or anything like that. So I'll clean that up. I didn't get a chance to get this unfaded, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. I didn't do the LED bulbs because they didn't come in yet, but I'll make a totally separate video on that. But as far as that goes, that's a wrap on the interior. But I think it turned out really well. I really like the new seat. I'm gonna try and figure out something for the seat belt buckle. But as far as that goes, the dash turned out really good after I scrubbed it with a scrubby pad and some sparkle. Um, I wish this bezel could have matched the wood grain, but maybe someday I'll find the correct wood grain dash. Who knows? Unfortunately, the ring that goes around the column here broke, but it was so brittle, you breathe on it wrong and it'll break. So I think that's going to be a wrap for the interior. I think that'll also be a wrap for part four. So catch you guys in the next one. Please subscribe. Please like. We're almost to 200 subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like much, but to someone just starting out, that's kind of cool, actually. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.